We know that Connor is going to go out there and outstrike Khabib. At least, at least we're willing to concede to that. To the point that Khabib's own coach, Javier Mendez, came out and said, we can't outstrike Connor. He's just too good and he's too dynamic and we don't have enough time. I think that the same could be said. It wasn't said by Connor's coach, but I think the same could be said about the wrestling. He's not going to be a better wrestler than Khabib. Look, here's the dirty, rotten truth coming to you from a wrestler, okay? Garbage wrestling, but wrestling. You got to have some wrestling, but it can be bad is enough to work in MMA. All right, so, so back up just a little bit. Connor put a training video out of him wrestling. He videoed it and he put it out. He must have thought he looked good. Whoever put it out must have thought Connor looked good. The wrestlers took a look at that footage and go, man, this guy's terrible. This guy can't wrestle a lick. I'm telling you guys, the dirty secret is that it, that's enough. You don't have to be a great wrestler. That is a huge misconception in this sport. You just gotta have a little bit of it. Some of, some of the best fighters we've seen were good wrestlers. And I, I hate to insult them, right? The great TJ Dillashaw. I don't want him to see this and go, Chael, how can you say I wasn't a good wrestler? Well, you're a multiple time world champion in MMA, okay? You were never a world player in wrestling. That's just the reality. You had good wrestling. You're a great MMA fighter and nobody out wrestles you, right? You go look at Demetrius Johnson. We just saw him take on the, the, the world's best, the Olympic champion, right? And Henry Cejudo. A good, that was very close wrestling. In the first match, Demetrius Johnson out-wrestled Cejudo. In the second match, Cejudo out-wrestled Demetrius, but it was close. It was good back and forth. Okay wrestling is all that you need in MMA. You can go look at a guy like Daniel Cormier, one of the most decorated wrestlers that does the sport. He doesn't use a ton of wrestling. He uses that grind. He uses that wrestler's mindset. He stays in your face. He makes you work for it. Go see the Stipe fight. He didn't have to use a lot of wrestling there, right? Ultimately into the fight with a big shot, but he has enough. He has enough. I'm just saying a lot gets made out of wrestling. You, you take the, you know, the world's greatest wrestler and then you put him against an okay guy. Benson Henderson comes to mind. I can't remember what Benson Henderson placed in state. I want to say it was fifth. It's enough. He never gets out wrestled in MMA. Never. Won, won world championships doing this. World championships. Kelvin Gastelum comes to mind. Number one contender. Right? I mean, you, you guys see the, the, the issue here? Wrestlers will always make a little bit more about their sport and there is a mindset and there is some skills There are some actual techniques that work in wrestling that carry over to mixed martial arts, but they're very few Very few and almost zero setups in wrestling if I had a partner right now I could show you but everything we do Is either from what we call the open which means you're not touching the guy or you're tied up You got two on ones you got collar ties you got underhooks you got double underhooks you got double overhooks you got wrist control None of that stuff works in MMA None of it. One of the greatest controls you can have in wrestling is called a Russian tie. It's a two-on-one. I mean, in one of my arms, you're going to grab it with both of your arms. My arm's dead. My arm can't be used. Just picture that. Even without a part, picture my arm being in my opponent's arm. See the problem? See why that doesn't work in MMA? There's not very many things that translate. So when you watch Connor's wrestling, yeah, it's garbage in comparison to Khabib's. The dirty little secret. It's enough. It's enough. Khabib is going to come at you with two attacks, a single leg and a body lock, and they're great, and you only need one or two. That's not to dis dismiss Khabib. Just don't get lost in the fact that Connor does not have to know A to Z about wrestling. He needs to have a good understanding of a single leg defense. He needs to get a good understanding of a body lock defense. And then ultimately, he needs, he needs that defer button he can push, which is, I just got taken down. I got to get my ass up off the bottom. They don't do that in wrestling. They don't do that in, 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 in Dagestan and wrestling. The opponent doesn't try to get up off the bottom. The top guy doesn't try to hold you down. That's grappling. Khabib has adapted to a great grappler. But you can ask Eddie Bravo, who I think we all respect in the world of jiu-jitsu and grappling. He will vouch for Conor McGregor. The only point I'm trying to make to you guys, and I just don't want you to get lost in this, there is going to be positions that Conor McGregor is going to have a deficit. And you're going to see the video of Conor out there wrestling and go, man, this guy is garbage at wrestling. There's not very much wrestling going to take place. There'll be a lot of grappling. There will be a lot of grappling, but that's a totally different conversation. And I feel that it always gets missed. The only thing the wrestler has the ability to do is control, is the fight going to be here or here? Once they get here, this is a different sport. This is called grappling. This isn't called wrestling. And once they're here, this is a different sport. This isn't wrestling either. It's that in-between. It's a huge advantage. I say this as a wrestler. I believe in that advantage. I believe in that in-between. But I can also reveal to you guys, it's only one spot. 
in that video you saw of Connor, while perhaps not a polished wrestler getting ready for the Olympic Games, I can tell you as an MMA fighter, it's enough.